the medications for this disease really came out in the 1990s. So I do have a few patients that would come in the 80s and the 70s, and there was nothing there that the doctor could give them for their disease. So they stopped coming to the doctor. And then in the 90s, when these newer medications came out, they kind of missed that window. So they did develop some permanent damage or some deformities, which now in clinic, I can give the medication to help them from getting the disease further, but I can't reverse what is already there. Which brings me to the final point. In this disease, because it is affecting younger patients in their 20s and their 30s, it is important for the doctor when they talk to the families that they use non-medical words because it's not just the patient that we are dealing with here. It's their parents, it's their family members, and also the other members that could be at increased risk of this disease. And now that there are amazing medications out for this disease, that yes, every medication has a risk, but in this case, the benefits far outweigh the side effects or the risks. As Galen himself said, the chief merit of language is clearness.